In this video, we're going to be taking a quick look at the Boundary Supply Prima System Modular Travel Backpack. Head on over to packhacker.com for more information and best buying options. Link in the description below. So this is a super unique bag with a lot of innovative thinking going on here. Uh, so we'll just go through all the features and check it out. Um, so starting on the outside, uh, we just got a lot of different buckles and straps and things going on here. You got these cool Fidlock magnetic buckles here that already snap back into place there. Uh, so these are great. We like these magnetic. Um, on the bottom, we have comp some uh, little compression straps here. Um, as you can see, these kind of are underneath uh, the adjuster part is underneath the material. Uh, so they're kind of hidden, and so if it gets any rain on it, it'll kind of avoid that adjuster part, which is nice. And uh, yeah, this is great for just throwing in uh, probably a tripod. Um, this is a super kind of photo-heavy bag, and you'll see why in a little bit. Um, but yeah, just anything you need on there. And then this bottom material um, is a little bit more rubbery and, you know, weather-resistant. Uh, so this is great just if you need to set the bag down, you don't have to worry about any water soaking through the bottom. Um, coming around to the back here, we got a nice comfortable harness system. It's got a ton of this thick, dense padding, makes it pretty comfortable to carry. Um, we'll start with the shoulder straps here. So on top, you got these load lifters that'll just kind of help... Um, carry this bag a little more comfortably and you know you can adjust those as needed and then they kind of run underneath these elastic straps so you have a little bit uh, dangling after that but it's nice that they have something uh, just to kind of keep it from being you know fully dangling everywhere um, and then you got an attachment point on this side if you need to hook a carabiner here toss that through there and then this sign you just got the cool boundary supply logo uh, looks great um, the sternum strap we're not quite as hot on um, it's just a little adjuster here you got four spots to run it through and it's just this uh, the only thing keeping it in is just this little piece of metal at the end um, obviously we haven't lost it yet so it does a decent enough job, um, but we have lost many of these style of sternum straps before. So just take note of that. So on this one, um, this is gonna be the easier side to lose here. This can just slide out. Um, so nothing super holding that in. And then this also is magnetic, lots of magnets on this bag. Um, so sternum strap buckled there holds really tight and then you just kind of give it a little twist push it together and you're good um, but yeah so sternum strap not our favorite but definitely gets the job done um, and then on the bottom of course you just got some little elastic keepers to keep everything in check and then these strap adjusters here work really good really smooth adjustment there um, yeah real nice to use and then we have behind the back panel here, we got a little side briefcase handle. This is great, especially uh, if you're using this for photography because this is the side opening. Again, we'll, we'll come back to this in a minute. Um, but this is gonna be the way you're gonna wanna access it. That's why there's only one on this side that you can use this pocket and not one on this side where you just have this uh, water bottle pocket it's got some real nice elastic to it, so it can hold a lot of different sizes. Um, if it's uh, you know smaller one, the elastic's gonna be tight, keep it in there, or if it's bigger, you have that option to expand it out there. But uh, sorry, let's get back to the harness system here. On the back panel, you got this real nice dense foam. I mean, it's, it's pretty thick. Um, with a stiff back panel behind it you know you can't really like bend this too much um so you, you get good airflow through these here um because the back panel kind of stops a little bit there uh it's kind of like uh goes down the middle and it kind of has some branches uh so you do have some gaps 
you know, there's a gap here and then back panel and then a gap more up here. Uh, so you do get nice airflow and, but it makes for a comfortable carry with just how thick and dense this padding is all over. Um, all right. Also, I believe there's a hip belt. It might be inside the bag here. So let's see if we can find that real quick. Um, yeah, it's attached to the camera cube. Uh, we'll get into the camera cube probably last just because there's so much going on with that. And, uh, you know, this is just part of the versatility of this bag is the, uh, the hip belt here can be used as a couple different options on the uh, camera cube here just to help carry that a couple different ways. So let's pull this out. So yeah, we'll just put the camera cube off to the side for now. Uh, we'll come back to that. But so this hip belt, as I said, functions in a couple different ways. Um, but if we're using it on the bag, it just slides through here and you got these uh, Velcro spots here and there's Velcro behind this back panel. So you just slide it through and just try not to get the Velcro to snag until you want it to. There we go. And so you got this nice, ooh, I think actually a little bit farther. Make sure it's nice and centered there. Yeah, so these, uh, lines here kind of help you line it up with these uh with the bag here so you can see this line points to like where the edge of the bag should be that one's lined up same thing on this side and then you got this nice comfortable harness system or nice hip belt and this is adjustable on both sides and then you've got this uh nice again dangle free experience there's just a lot of little things to this bag that really shows you how much they thought through all these little details uh, which we really appreciate so let's take that back out and this as you can see has the same sort of uh, material as the uh, back panel here and the shoulder straps uh, not quite as dense as where the back panel is but definitely noticeable got some nice cushion there Okay, let's take this off. All right, we'll just set that to the side for now. And let's get into this bag's pockets. So on top here, we just kind of have this little quick grab pocket. Um, we have a nice little magnetic key clip here. Uh, it's not really quick access because it has a key ring on it, so you're gonna have to wind your keys through there but it's nice that the other side is the quick release part. Um, so you can just put it, snap it back in there. Quick little magnet and that holds tight. And then you just kind of push it in this upwards direction and it pops right off for easy access. So yeah, lots of magnets, lots of little stuff like that. Um, and then inside this pocket, this is pretty big. Uh, one thing that's really nice is a lot of bags put the key clip in the same compartment as you would put your phone, uh, which is not ideal because your keys can scratch up your phone. So what this bag does is the keys are on the outside of this pocket, and then there's like a special little soft flap to put your phone in. So that just goes right in there, and then your keys stay on the outside. So again, just lots of great little features like that that you can really tell they thought about this bag. But this is a great spot for all your standard quick grab stuff, phone, wallet, keys, uh, sunglasses, anything else you just need to grab real quick. And underneath the water bottle pocket here, we kind of have a little secret pocket. Um, this would be a better spot for your phone and wallet if you don't need quick access to it. Um, obviously, this pocket, somebody, there's a chance that somebody just walking behind you could kind of unzip this and get in there. Um, so this one's just a little sneakier, a little tighter to your back, uh, much harder to get into without somebody knowing. And it's just hidden right behind this water bottle pocket. So you really don't even see it too much from the outside. And onto the main compartment of this bag, we'll open this up. So you can kind of stack this however you need. Um, 
these do come out here so if we expand these you can fully pack this to the top and have it closer to you know a lot taller bag if you need it and then you know put it back down if you don't uh, so you get a little snap button here just to keep that from coming apart and trying to pull the zipper apart um, so we unsnap that unzip and this just fully gives you access to the whole inside of the bag here uh, which is real nice um, you got a little document sleeve in here however you can feel the back panel or the uh, yeah the back panel behind it so it's not straight it's a little more like wavy so I wouldn't put anything too sensitive in here um, just because it might get bent especially uh, if you have this bag loaded out and then uh, this outside pocket is the same one this just gives you access to the main compartment here so this is all the same uh, just if you want to swing it off your shoulder real quick without setting it down um, you can swing it around to the front and have that access there so yeah this is just giant open space here there's not really a ton of organization going on in the middle part here you have a few pockets on the outside here just a long zippered pocket there good for any sort of smaller items you have again if you have uh, camera gear here then this is a good spot for batteries SD cards anything like that and then a little internal water bottle pocket here or uh, about that size nice and stretchy holds everything real tight um, so we'll zip that back up and on the very back here we have a laptop compartment. Um, so this is a really nice laptop compartment. Again, it uses the frame sheet and all the uh, back padding here to uh, you know give it more cushion. So that's really nice. Goes all the way. It is floating, so my hand goes to about here. So you got that much space if you accidentally drop your bag your laptop is not going to hit the ground uh, which we can really appreciate um, and then in front here this is another super cool little feature is uh, it's got that same magnetic attachment as uh, the key clip there and it's a nice little document sleeve uh, this is where I would put if I had anything more sensitive um, or just that I didn't want to get wrinkled, like instead of putting it in that uh, back document sleeve in the main compartment. Uh, so this is really cool. Uh, you open this up and this has got that same sort of little padded uh, soft material as the phone pocket, um, about the size of, you know, eight and a half by 11 ish, uh, you know, folder to put in, you could put in there. Um, I actually use this as a monitor carrying case. I had a little travel monitor that I used for video editing and that was great for this because it fit in here. It was padded, it's soft, didn't have to worry about it getting scratched. And then I just put all the cords and the stand and stuff in these nice mesh pockets. Uh, but if you're more business and less uh, photo video, this is also a great spot, again, for just like a folder, documents. Uh, obviously you got a spot for pens and pencils here or styluses. Um, and yeah, just any sort of little items you have in here. You got these nice stretchy mesh pockets. So this is a really nice feature. We like that it comes all the way out just to give you easy access to everything. And so you're not trying to like slide a folder into the back of your bag. So we'll just stick that back in here. And zip that up. Oh, and just before I forget, there is a nice padded handle on top here too boundary right there uh, this is a little grippy so you know that's a nice little touch um, so let's bring the camera cube back into the mix here we'll just talk about that one by itself for a minute um, this can attach to the bag in a couple different ways and we'll come back to that or you can actually carry it separately which is like a nice little touch um, so you open it up here and it's got a nice little Velcro divider. 
so you can you know set this up however you need to in this bag uh, what we've mostly done is just kind of have it straight up and down for just like a halfway divider um, we would have liked to seen maybe one more divider in here just to get uh, real granular with our organization um, just because it's kind of a big space for just this one little divider um, but yeah it's, it's a nice little setup for just a little camera and then on top here um, if you're using this separately from your bag Let's say you get to your Airbnb a hotel, you can drop your uh, whole bag off and just take the little camera cube out. So then you'd wanna put batteries and SD cards and stuff in here. So you got this nice little top pocket, which is like double elastic here. So you can throw stuff in here and then this elastic, you know, keeps that closed. And then this kind of provides a backup system here just so nothing comes shooting out of there. Yeah, so nice little touch there. Um, and then on the bottom, if you wanna move your tripod, if you have a little travel one that you had on the back of your main bag or on the bottom of your main bag, you can throw it on the bottom of this with these little compression straps. And uh, if you're more a you know, nature photographer or something like that and you have longer lenses, uh, this bottom actually unzips and stretches out here so you gain quite a bit of space in here so you can fit a little bit longer lenses in there I mean that that adds like a third of the space there um, again this is where it would be nice that if we had more than one divider uh, especially when you have the, the uh, camera cube this expanded uh, just to help kind of divvy that large amount of space up a little bit more uh, but all our camera gear we have here is mostly more compact uh, so we'll zip that back up and then you have a little handle here but uh you know that's not a great way to carry it around town if you're going taking pictures to do a hand carry so what we can do oh and also real quick uh just a little pocket there if you don't need anything uh quick grab zippered pocket if you want to put your SD cards batteries in there just so to make sure they stay there uh, because it does zip but uh, anyways uh, so the carry we can take the hip belt from the uh, main bag here and we can do two different things here so behind this there is uh, some buckles here so we can attach these buckles to these buckles And now it's a kind of shoulder style carry here, uh, you know, more purse style, if you will. Um, so, you know, if you want to do something like that, just have it over your shoulder on your back. Great option. Again, this has a lot of great padding to it. Uh, so it's very comfortable to carry around. Or we can turn this into a hip belt for the camera bag. So it's that same sort of thing where the Velcro, uh, on this lines up with some velcro in here uh, this is a little bit harder to pull through just because there's not a lot of extra space and you do have these buckles behind this uh, compartment in the way so it can be a little bit tricky to get it in here there we go so now you can wear this as like a fanny pack hip belt uh, you know put it on your back there and just clip that uh, so this is you know a little more secured to your body than the shoulder carry would be so it's it's really nice that they give you all these different options uh, it's you know just shows they put a lot of thought into this and so you can really customize it to however you uh, want to carry it or what works best for you and your gear uh, yeah so it's just yeah really nice in that regard um, so this also integrates with the bag if you just want to carry all this together. Um, we'll start with the outside here. So if you have this all clipped up, uh, this pocket or this compartment, which is the main compartment, um, stores, oops, camera bag here. Ooh, also 
forgot on the middle part of the tour here, we have a little RFID uh, safe pocket here. So if you need to throw any wallet in there, if you're really worried about it, um, yeah, up to you if you need that. So we'll throw this camera cube in here. So these button flaps here attach to these snaps here. And so that'll hold this in place on this side. And then you have to have the camera cube unzipped. So then these snaps up here attach to these snaps. And so now this camera cube is integrated with the bag there. So if you have this zipped up and you want your camera stuff inside there, uh, you open it up and boom, it's right there. Uh, so that's a great little feature. One little nitpick with this, uh, obviously it only attaches with these buttons here and here. So there's nothing uh, you know, attaching the rest of this to the bag. So you do have a gap in between the, uh, the bag and the camera cube here. So if you have anything smaller in here, uh, it can slide into the main compartment of the bag. As you can see, there's a little gap between there. Um, also too, this takes up most of the main space of the bag if you have it like this. So let's open that up again. So yeah, I mean, it's really a lot of this main space here. We're left with just a little bit on top if you need to throw anything in. Uh, so if you want to carry your camera cube in this manner, um, you, you also have a little bit of space on the side, but not a ton. So you'll probably end up having to uh, expand these straps just so you get extra space in there. Um, also, this kind of blocks access to the uh, little RFID pocket. You can still use it, it just kind of gets in the way a little bit, as you can see. So if you need all the main space in the bag, but still want to use the camera cube attached to the bag, you can also hook it to the outside of the bag, which is a great option. So if we hook this up there, and then flip it to this side where the water bottle pocket is. Uh, so this is pretty sneaky here. You have a just what seems like a random half of a buckle behind this back panel here. So this uh, buckle attaches to the hidden buckle behind this one. It's a little tricky to do just because they both don't have a ton of uh, extra wiggle room, which is what you'll want uh, once the bag's set up just so it's, it's real tight to the bag. But uh, this is just a little bit tricky to set up here initially, but let's see. There we go. Okay, so that one's hooked on now. And then above the water bottle pocket, there's another little hidden half of a buckle here. Uh, so this attaches to the other side. And again, there's this real tight fit. So there you go. So now it's real tight to the side of the bag here. You kind of have like a sidecar type carry here. So this is great if you want to use um, all the space in the main compartment, but you still want it attached. Uh, the only thing with this is you basically lose this water bottle pocket here, it kind of blocks it off. Um, so that's when you might want to use that elastic water bottle pocket that's in the middle. But I would argue this is one of the better ways to carry it uh, just because this takes up so much space when it's inside the uh, main part of the pack. But yeah, overall, this is just, it's a super, I mean, it's right in the name. It's, it's a modular travel backpack, so there's a ton of ways to use it, uh, a ton of different things you can do with it. Uh, you know, just add or subtract some of these features as you see needed uh, for your personal carry. Uh, so it's just, it's really nice. You can tell it's just very well thought out.
So there you have it. That was our quick look review of the Boundary Supply Prima System Modular Travel Backpack. For more information and the best buying options, head on over to packhacker.com. And if you'd like to see more in-depth video reviews and broader Packhacker content, then make sure to check out our main channel too.